so kind of don't need um, that game mode anymore. So once the trebuchet is done, what I'll do is I'll get out my favourite admin tool, the blaze rod, and what you'll need to do while you're being attacked is to let me know because I need to be online during the siege and you need to tell me where you're aiming for. Now I will stand here while I aim and if I can't see what you're aiming for I won't aim for it. Like behind there for example, behind those trees, behind those trees, I can't do that. And it also has about a 45, no sorry not 45, 40 degree range. So if you look out here diagonally you come in a bit from that. So probably about there to about there is its range. There's three size ammos. There's a one by one which will make a whole I'll give you a demonstration actually of each one. So, up here, and you've, you've got a single ammo, and you say, I want to aim for um, just above the base of the wall between the building and the trees. And I'll just interpret your words and just aim a bit. And the further back it is, um, the more wonky the aim will be. So, it's I'm guessing you're aiming for about there. So, I might go like this and just go bam. If we zoom in and inspect the damage, this is what's done. It's three blocks wide. Um, it's a completely useless shot against a wall like this because it hasn't got through anything. You can't do anything here, and if you fall down there, you're stuck and you'll probably die. So it's not the greatest of um, weapons against a capital city. Alternatively, you could spare a bit more iron. By the way, when I fire, I come down and destroy the ammunition because it's been fired. That's the idea. And I'll upper size. And also, the bigger the ammunition is, the less accurate it is. And you might say, okay, we want to aim for um, just next to the building, near the base of the wall. So it's clear you're aiming for there. I might go up a bit and up a bit, and I might click there. And this hole is probably going to be useless. You can't even get in that hole. But you've broken through the first layer of wall. Uh, so that one was a 2x2. Two two. And then we get the big ones. If you've got iron aplenty to spare, you can do a 3x3. Three three. Oops. And you'll have to get rid of that bit there. And this is actually a lot more iron than it looks. I believe it's about 27. But we'll do it a very large hole. And I'll up the size to three. And you'll say, I want to aim again between the um, what are they called? The trees in the in the building. And I might go off a bit, I might go all the way over here because the ammunition is so big. And I'll go there. And you come in. And again the wall is too thick to be able to do anything with one shot but the hole is quite a lot larger. And again, every time it's shot, the ammunition is consumed because it's been flung into the wall. And the trebuchet is reset. And if you get a misfire, if you have a 3x3 three three down there, 3x3x3 three by three by three, rather, and if you get a misfire, and I'm standing here, I'm not going to tell you that the trebuchet is built wrong. Say you've done a huge mistake and you're missing that bit there, for example, and no one notices, and you tell me to fire it. I'm not going to tell you that's missing. I'm going to come up here after I've inspected it, and you're going to tell me what you're aiming for, and I'm going to go, okay, trebuchet's firing. Doink. And you're going to have to build all that again. That's a misfire if you build it wrong. It can set you back a lot of time and resources, depending on where the misfire strikes. So that's the basics of um, using a large trebuchet or a seven trebuchet. Um, what I suggest if you're going to um, siege war against someone is that you read and learn the warfare page quite thoroughly and that you have a dedicated engineer, a siege engineer of some kind, who will consider, whose job it is to consider things like where the best spot is to get through, how close it needs to be, uh, how accurate uh, you need it to be, what size ammo to use, uh, whether the ground is stable, all that sort of stuff, because fighters you need in a war, but fighters probably are not um, equipped to consider all of those things. 
that concludes this trebuchet tutorial. Um, I'm going to have fun trying to edit out half an hour of useless stuff and try and get this video within 10 minutes and enjoy.